Caroline by Coulter Wall is going to be played in a tuning that is one half step down from standard tuning. Uh, this is pretty typical for Coulter Wall. His sixth string gets lowered to a D sharp. So six string goes down to a D sharp. Five string goes down to a G sharp. Four string goes down to a C sharp. Three string goes down to an F sharp. Uh, two string goes down to an A sharp and one string goes down to a D sharp. Once you get into that tuning, and if you don't want to detune, you don't have to, you can play these chord shapes and this riff that I'm about to show you in standard, uh, and it translates the same. You, your pitch would just be higher, higher than that of Coulter Walls. Um, but it's going to come out of a C shape. So for the C and for the opening riff, I've got my ring finger on the 6th string 3 fret, pinky finger on the 5 string 3 fret, 2nd finger on the 4 string 2 fret, and this 2nd finger will be doing a lot of hammer-ons there to that 4 string 2 fret. You'll have an open 3 string, your first finger will be on the 2 string 1 fret, you'll have an open 1 string. So the first strum, this is going to be finger pick by the way, you're going to strum from the 6th string to like the 2 string with your thumb. But as you're doing that, your 2nd finger needs to be off the 4th string. And then immediately after you get your thumb past that 4th string, you need to hammer with your 2nd finger down to the 4th string 2 fret. After that, what you're going to do is then hit with your thumb and emphasize the open 3 string. And then you'll come back, you'll come back to a strum where you'll come down to the four string in the C chord, and you want for your second finger to be back down on the four string two fret. So that whenever you get to the four string, you can pull off your second finger to expose the four string. So you've got and then after that pull-off, it just kind of hits on the the C note, the five string, uh, twice, and you can hear some bleed through maybe from the uh, four string. And then you're going to come down to a G chord. Uh, ring finger on the sixth string, three fret, and you'll lift your other fingers off the fretboard. You'll hit the sixth string, and then you'll hammer on with your second finger to the five string, two fret and then you're going to hammer with your second finger to the four string two fret. And then you'll go back with your ring finger to the six string three fret. And we're walking up to a C by going uh, six string three fret, open five string, and then back into our C chord 
with our pinky finger going down on the three on the five string three fret. And then we repeat that riff. And then it goes. So the second time the walk up is a six string uh, three fret to open five string to five string two fret which I play with my second finger and then into the C chord. So the first time the walk up is just a G note to an A note to a C note. The second time the walk up is G note to A note to B note to C note. So very slowly uh, that riff is coming together like this and, and this is basically the a riff that gets played during the verse as well, but C with a hammer on And then once you get back into that C, we get more of a two beat feel where it's like a strike the, the five string three fret and then strike the six string three fret inside of the C chord. And uh, it's like a down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So the only difference about the verses from that riff that I just showed you that is like the intro and the break riff is, is that whenever we get into the verses, in this first riff, or this first half of the riff, uh, Coulter Wall tends to go and hammers back down into the C chord as opposed to just hitting the five string twice. So that's the verse way, the intro way was. So small distinction, but it does add a little bit of differentiation there. Okay, whenever we get to, I'm trying to think if there's anything else you need to know about the verse. I don't think there is. Uh, so it just repeats that several times as the verse. And whenever we get to the chorus, the chorus will be an A minor. The way that you go to that A minor is you'll have an open five string, second finger on the four string two fret, ring finger on the three string two fret, first finger, uh, on the two string one fret where it should have been anyway from your C chord and you'll be alternating the open five string and the open six string in your two beat strum feel of down, down, up, down, down, up, five, six, five, six. So it goes A minor to G and immediately walks back up into the C. So the way that A minor runs, three, four, one to the six string three fret. You'll hit the six string three fret and you just kind of strike down with your fingers and immediately walk back up into the C by going open five string, second finger to the five string two fret, and then jump back into your C chord. And the lyrics continue over the C chord for a bar. And then it, it walks back down to the C chord by going six string, or by going five string three fret, five string two fret, back into the A minor uh, to the G chord and walks immediately back up into the C chord. And then we get our riff again. Okay, and so you've got another verse, you've got another chorus, and then you've got this bridge break where we're going to go into an F chord. So out of the C chord, you'll bleed up into an F by taking your ring, pinky, and second fingers and just shifting them down a set of strings. And then I use my thumb to grab the six string first fret. So my ring finger is now on the five string three fret, my pinky finger is on the four string three fret. My second finger is on the three string two fret, which I will utilize that same feeling of hammer on for now on the three string two fret as you move into that F chord. And first finger still on the two string one fret. So you go from the F chord to the C chord, back to the F chord, down to the C chord, and then to the G chord. And in this G chord, it's just a traditional G chord, ring finger, six string, three fret, second finger to the five string, two fret, four, three, and two strings open with pinky finger pulled back to the one string, 
3 fret in this G chord, you'll be hammering on to the 5 string 2 fret and it just kind of vamps right there for a second. Before coming back into I think another riff and eventually another uh, a final final chorus. a final riff and then it just kind of slowly walks into the ending on the C chord. So those are the chords and the movements to Caroline by Coulter Wall. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.